What's going on, boy? It's your boy James here, Beards and Cars. So, as you can see, my beard is all over the place. So, guys, for those of you who don't know, this is what my beard looks like with uh, basically with no products in it. It's a mess. You see that? <laughs> but for real, that's how messed up my beard looks with no products. So, what I'm fixing to do is just a small trim right now. I've been trying to make it. Um, you know, I'm almost to a year, so I'm just trying to make it without trimming too much off of it. Um, but man, this thing is just really getting out of hand, guys. So, what I like to do is I like to start out brushing this out like this, combing it, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, my beard is like all kinds of different lengths like like for real like so many different lengths so I like to try to get all this brushed out and uh <laughs> yeah this is what I'm working with boys <laughs> love it for real though man so what I'm dealing with here is man I mean I got a lot of hair in my ears um for some reason, I got I got spots in my beard that just I don't know why, but this right here isn't nowhere near as long as this side is. So it's like almost got like a gap right here. And every time I brush my beard, comb it out, uh, anything like that with it, I can see this, and so it drives me absolutely crazy. Um, I'm dealing with a whole lot of. Uh, basically just these awkward stages during the day man to where you know my beard is almost looking like this as i'm trying to talk to people uh and be serious it's not quite this bad but i'm trying to talk to people and you know sell stuff throughout the day things of this nature so uh this just can't cut it so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of trimming on this thing guys and what i'm gonna do is See if I even like these things. I got these things the other day. I haven't I haven't used them yet, but they are super nice. They got different speeds and stuff like that on them. But we'll probably use this right here. Um, but what I like to do is I like to try to get this brushed out as much as possible. And really, what I really, really like to do is I like to try to get like a certain layer here. Like that. This is so hard to get on camera, but I like to get like a certain layer out like that. And then this here up. And so you guys can't see it, but what I do is brush this down and then trim just this. So that way all this little layer right here actually matches and makes sense. So I don't do this with every trim, but just so I can kind of gauge and figure out what's going on here. So now as you can see that I got this little part here separated from this part, you can actually see how much longer these hairs are here than these hairs here. So that's all I'm gonna do is just kind of nib this off and trim that and uh, try to make that to where it's not so noticeable and it can grow the same length together. So let me get that real quick. And that's a long gray, kinky, curly hair out there. So very important guys, do not rush a beard trim. I know this video might be boring, but I'm not gonna do the whole trim. <coughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna use these little cheap scissors right here just to kind of, uh, and you guys, you can see that. Uh, this is so much longer up here than this down here. So, I'm just going to do a small little trim there and get that the same length. And this is the main part that's bothering me right now because even when I brush this down, I can see it. So, we want it more like that, not so far out. 
But like I said, as I, as I brush this throughout the day, I can actually see the different links in my beard. And it, man, it drives me absolutely crazy. So, we're going to trim that. It's like that. Like that. Just a little bit. So, basically just like that. Just enough to get it same length. Which it pretty much is now. A couple of little flyaways here and there, but those will be all right. But now when I brush it down, it makes more sense right there. It looks better. It's not as poofed out and crazy looking. Now the idea is to get this here, the same length as this here. The same, like this, man. So this is what happens, guys. When you trim this here, and don't be alarmed by the comb. I know it looks nasty, but that's just a whole bunch of beard balm and stuff like that stuck in it. Um, but the idea really is to get this up here, the same length as this down here to just grow straight down. But eventually this here gets terminal and doesn't grow as long as this. So this is what happens when I trim my beard most of the time is I'll trim this here and uh, this looks so much longer and that draws me crazy because you can actually see how long this is. But if you used to pull this and take this, I mean, look at the difference. And that right there is enough to drive you crazy. It's a lot of different. So I like to actually get that. I wonder, one day I might actually grow that right like that. But for now, that's what we're doing. So I'd like to do that like that. This side's actually not as bad as that side. Um, but let me separate it too real quick. Just so I can see. Because it's usually not the bottom side here. It's usually the first this first little bit right here is usually what starts getting all crazy and out of it. I'm about to show you on this side too. It starts getting so much crazier than the rest of it and the length just don't match up. You see that? So if you pull that out, it's like really long up here. So trim that too a little bit there. Now I know that was more than a little bit, but we just want to get that right there. I need to do a little bit of trimming anyway, so. I thought I was going to use that Brio, but man, it's uh, really not going to cut it for what I'm trying to do right here, so. Let's see here. See, and that's basically, I just want to get it close to the same length. But, uh. So now when I brush this out, it should be a lot more closer to the same length all the way around than it was before. And you can make yourself look as stupid as you want. Sometimes I do it just for the hell of it, just to make myself laugh. I do like to see the shape of my beard here. That way I can make sure it's got the same shape all the way around. This side here is a little shorter than this side over here. So we're going to take this and trim this up just a tad. It doesn't hurt to cut away some of them dead ends anyways, guys. But this is pretty much the same length all the way around from what I'm saying. This side's a little, a little longer up here, so I'll take that in just a tad. And this is kind of what helps me get that, that angled look that I have, if you guys are wondering. But that's about all I'm going to trim off of that area right there. It pretty much looks the same all the way around. If you guys are wondering, it's like the it's like the smoothest thing to brush your beard, but it's got the little balls on the end. Or you can do the round one, you know, the round brush with the same little things. It just glides straight through there, so. But I don't like to I don't like to mess with my beard while it's completely fixed until I do a little bit of trimming first. Um, 
So I get a little bit of trimming out of the way, you know, try to try to get the same length on both ends, stuff like that. And then, you know, from there, I try to nib just a little bit off of it. I like to try to see the shape of it. You know, some people actually like to style their beard first and then cut on it. <clears throat> I really don't like to do that. So I like to actually take some of this off and then go back and then I'll style my beard and then see where the little flyaway stuff like that are and then get them things off there. So, but what makes it super hard, like right now, um, my beard is way more um, just poofier on this side than it is over here. I'm trying to brush it out and get it to lay down, but it's a lot more, it's got more of a bump over here than it does here. It's trying to lay down now, but for the most part, this is where I'll be at. This is where I'll be at right here. So now I'll take these brios and just start trimming a little bit here, a little bit here to edge that up, uh, make, get some shape out of it. So here we go. And we're going to go straight down, guys. We're not going to take nothing crazy off because I'm just not ready for that trim yet, but we're going to go straight down with it. So like this. All right, okay. So I'm looking at this here, and I'm looking in the mirror here so I don't mess up. Take your time. Straight down. You see, you guys can see I'm just doing enough to just get um, a shape out and knock off some of this crap. So, but here's what I was telling you guys. That's where this comes in, starts looking short, and then this starts looking really long. So, um, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta weigh your options of what you want to do. You know, I can't live with it, my beard going out real, real bushy like that. I can't do that. So, this is the way I trim mine. This is where I do mine. Get on this side. Now we'll take that and we'll brush that out. See where we're at with it. The only thing that sucks about this for me is, you know, I got these waves on my beard, so the more I take off here, the more shorter this is, and this wave just wants to do that right there. It just wants to wants to do that. And that that there will drive me crazy. But you can't have everything you want in your beard. You can only get so much out of it. You gotta find some point to be happy. Alright. So Starting like that. Now I have to be careful. I can't take too much off right there. So I'm gonna go at it one more time. Other side. Remember guys, straight down. Sometimes you can do it. You can barely hit the front. Same things you're doing on the sides. This is the most I've trimmed off my beard. Um, since I've been growing it back, I have done, I do do a little trimming monthly, but this is the most I've trimmed off of it so far, guys. So I'm freaking out right now, but I'll be all right. Take your time, get it done. And the only thing, the only bad thing about trimming your beard, guys, is you, you will sit there and mess with it, 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 but until you mess it up, if you ain't careful. <coughs> So that being said, you have to find a stopping point and go, okay, I'm done right there. Because I can guarantee if you start trimming it, 
you'll get back in that mirror tomorrow morning or later on that afternoon or whatever and trim it some more because that's just the way it is. You start seeing stuff that looks uneven and everything like that. So you have to find a happy point to stop. Uh, and uh, just, you know, take a better look at it the next day or later on in the afternoon. So right now, this is what I'm working with. I'm pretty close to liking this. But I need to trim a little bit more off the sides. Same thing on the other side. And I'm pretty sure I'm done with the sides here. I really get tired of watching myself just whack away my beard. So, pretty sure I'm done with that area. Now, So that's what I'm working with now. It's not anywhere near as bushy as it was, bushy as it was to start with. <clears throat> but uh, like I said, guys, you have to find a happy spot and kind of just stop. Because uh, if you don't, you will eventually be upset with yourself. I'm trying to trim too much off of it because if you start messing with too much here, it don't want to grow down in length. Uh, it wants to stick back like that. And so I'm trying to I'm trying to just take off the weight on the sides here, not so much here, but I do want to get up all my ears and stuff like that. So and that's why you see me trimming a little bit here. Just a little bit. Sometimes that's all it takes. And like I said, you can guarantee I will be back in this mirror later on tonight or first thing in the morning. Uh, messing with it some more. Trimming more flyaways, stuff like that. And I will, before it's all said and done, style this thing and then go back over it. So now I'm going to take this. I'm just going to take a little bit of these flyaways, stuff like that off. Not much. My beard is so long, I can hardly see up under it. So, you know, you have to be real careful. I can hardly see in the mirror, too, so. Sorry if I'm making all these stupid faces. I can't even see myself. I'm whatever I'm doing. But anyways, I'm trying to show you guys how I do it anyway. Nothing drastic, nothing crazy, guys. Uh, kind of go with the flow. Same thing here, I'm just going to kind of go with the flow and make it good.
Now, I feel like I'm taking a whole lot off of this, but I can assure you guys I'm not. This is exactly what my beer needed at this time. It was a light trim, gets rid of some of them dead ends, stuff like that. I really needed this. Like I said, it's been a while. I hate trimming out any of my beer, period, but I mean, look at all that gray on my shirt. Oh, my God. I just want to make sure most of this is making sense and looking straight. Make sure it's close enough for me. It's looking pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and style it. Just something, I'm just going to, just something real quick, not nothing crazy or nothing like that. I'm going to style it quick just to make sure I got uh, some of the long areas and everything like that straightened up a tad, nip down some of the flyaways, and uh, should be pretty much done, uh, finished with it for the night. Um, I don't want to take too much off of it one time, like I said, so let me, let me get my blow dry on the side. trim up gotta be real careful because you will mess up if you try to sit there and mess with it too long All I don't worry too much about under here a whole lot. Just because, look at that. Boing, that thing feels crazy. Gray hair is so crazy. I don't know if you guys don't have them. They feel way crazier than a regular brown or normal hair that you got. It's just more not on. All right. A little bit more trim. Underneath. Now, brush it out one more time, see what we're working with. Man, even my comb just goes through my beard better, getting rid of some of those knots and dead ends. I could pull it down just to see kind of what's, what's up. Make sure we're good. Tad more on this side. I think that's pretty much it, guys. 
for me, for right now until in the morning, it's going to pretty much be it. Let's see here. Now, this does play tricks on my beard. The way these stripes are, these gray stripes, man, it'll make my beard look so crazy and uneven when in all actual reality, it's pretty damn good. The problem is, is this one's more over here and this is a little bit shifted. So when you're looking at it, these, they're all set um, from each other. They're not perfect in the center together. One of them's a little wider than the other. And uh, that makes my beard look a little, little funny when I'm looking at it. But I think it's pretty much, pretty much straight right there. Not the lines, but the actual beard and shape. They're pretty much good. I'm happy with it. Anyways, sorry for the long video. I hope that helps some of you guys. Just want to do a pretty much a full, you know, not a not no crazy trim, but a full beard trim for, you know, around 10 months in now. So that's how I do it. That's why I go about it. And like I said, don't keep messing with it because you'll probably wake up in the morning and do some more trimming with it anyways. So that being said, guys, see you guys in the next one. If you guys ain't liked already, what are you doing? Please like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.